Welcome to Trade the Trend, a weekly video about where the stock market is going. This video is going to focus on the S&P 500. I'm going to cover the ASX 200 as well as copper, gold, oil and uranium in a separate video. I'll leave a link for that in the description section below. As always, everything today is general commentary only. It doesn't take your personal situation into account. With all of that said, let's get into our first chart. So starting off with the S&P 500 and the, the series of all-time highs has continued through the week. This is such an interesting situation and it really shows up in, in much of the commentary which is coming out this week around the markets. And there's, there's a real divergence of opinion around where this is all going. I'll come back to, I'll come back to that in a moment, but, but just first of all, where, where this all stands now, we have a market that is rallying along rising 50-day moving average and brief pullback a couple of weeks ago and rebounding off that 50-day moving average to new highs. So this is a bullish chart structure with, uh, with a clear upward trend. I think the base case remains and, and this is as it's been since since back in back in mid-November when prices got above those moving averages. I think the base case remains that it's a it's a situation to stay long and let profits run. And the, very much the same applies when we look at the NASDAQ. We have a clearly defined upward trend in place with the market rebounding off rising moving averages. Now, I think the I think the fascinating part of all of it of all of this is what's going on under the surface. So, I want to show you this. This here is showing us the percentage of S&P 500 stocks above their 100-day moving average. So, while we've got the S&P 500 hitting a new all-time high, have a look at this the number of stocks, number of S&P 500 stocks, or, or I should say the percentage of S&P 500 stocks above their 100-day moving averages is just 48.5. So more than 50%, more than 50% of S&P 500 stocks are below their 100-day moving averages. And that's not what you'd expect in a bull market. And this is a sort of some. This is a source of some some heated views when you look look across X and and, and the various like YouTube, wherever it may be, uh, in the media. There's some quite strong views on either side. So the bears say that the lack of participation or this decline in in, in breadth of the of the, the the market participation. They say that this is a sign that the market's market's topping and it's it's going to fall. The bulls, on the other hand, say it doesn't matter. The slow starting stocks, the stocks which aren't participating at the moment, that they're going to catch up and they're going to fuel the rally. I've also had pushback when I've spoken about the S and P 500 equal weight. So just clicking over that now. So this is the the S and P 500 equal weight ETF. And this is something I've spoken about in recent weeks along with the Dow because they aren't confirming the highs in the S&P 500. Uh, so you can see the, the equal weight is below its, its high from May, below its high from, from March. And the point I've made is that this is, this is consolidating. The S&P 500 equal weight is going sideways. It's consolidating the strong rally from the October low and it continues to consolidate. Not saying it's bearish, just saying it's, it's consolidating before potentially breaking to new highs. And what I get when I say that is, look, people will say that uh, they, you know, they'll, they'll question. They'll, they'll question the need to even, even or the worth of looking at these markets altogether. Looking, you know, they'll say, what's the point? Why are you looking at an equal weight ETF? Why are you looking at the Dow? They don't matter. It's just what the S&P 500 is doing. And... My take on all this is that, as I was saying, my take is that the, the trend is up, no denying that, and I'm long stocks. But it's also a fairly narrow rally led by NVIDIA and Apple. And, and that may be fine. The trend is up, as I say. Stay with the trend, stay with the momentum. But I think it's important, I think it's important we understand what's driving the rally and then manage risk accordingly. 
So my preference at this point is to buy the components of the, of the index rather than the index itself. So I'd rather be buying stocks that are breaking out of ranges or, or rallying off their moving average rather than chasing stocks like, like NVIDIA, which have already run hard. So I'm happy to hold stocks that have run hard. If I was holding NVIDIA, I'd be happy to hold it. No problem with holding a stock which has run hard, but I don't necessarily want to go out and buy them. So that's why I'm saying I think the play now is being selective in what we buy, looking for the right setups. And I'm also using those wide trailing stops to try and see off the pullback, which many stocks are currently experiencing in both the, the S&P 500 and the broader market generally. Now, if you're getting some value from this, please hit that like button. Please leave a short comment. Just, hey, thanks for the video. Jess Steele's YouTube. If you're watching, YouTube shows other people. Helps me a lot. So please do that. Now, this is, um, let's finish up by having a quick look at the, the Russell 2000. And this is certainly where the action is not. So the Russell continues to consolidate below its, um, its, its May and its April highs. Uh, this continues to be, you know, be a market which is just backing and filling, and it could continue to, to back and fill for, for some time yet. No way to know the timing on this. It's a case of being patient, waiting for the right setups, and they're currently not really presenting in any substantial way at the moment. This isn't where the money is at the moment, uh, I still think this segment has lots of potential, but it's just not a primary area of focus now. It's a case of let the market tell us when the time is right to look here at the moment. It's looking for the breakouts, looking for the trends in other parts of the market. So look, let's, um, let's leave that there for this week. Thank you for joining me. Hopefully that's been interesting. Please give me that like if uh, you got some value and I look forward to coming back. Talk to you next week. Till then, bye for now.